Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiara and I am the owner of Black Teacup. In this week's video, I'll be showing you guys how I created this scan to pay sign in Canva. Um, it was really easy and simple to make, very inexpensive as well. Um, I am preparing for my first craft show. Um, I know I mentioned that in my last video, which is why I made those shelves. And I also wanted a little scan to pay sign. So yeah, in this video this week, I'll be showing you how I created this scan to pay sign with all my QR codes. This is going to be sitting on my little table so that um, it's easy access, no contact. They could just scan my little the signs and it'll send them directly to my the link to pay. Um, this was, it's just printed on cardstock, simple cardstock paper, and I put it in this little frame that I got from Walmart. Very inexpensive and easy to do. So, if you're interested in knowing how I created this easy DIY scan to pay sign, um, continue to watch. I will have everything that I use, which isn't much, but I will have everything else linked down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate it, y'all, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to start by going to canva.com and in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on create a design and I'm just going to do like a flyer, a sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11. So I am using Canva Pro. So some of these elements that I am choosing will be for pro members only. Um, so I'm looking at orange um, ray backgrounds and that's how I chose my background for my logo. Once you find the one you want, you'll just right click on the image and set as background. So next, I started looking for peacock feather clip art, but then I remembered that I have a certain peacock feather that I use. So I'm going to just upload that here. I know where it's saved on my computer and I just hit upload media. And then we're going to go to the destination and I'll just upload my peacock feather that way. You could use one of the preloaded elements um, for whatever you're looking for over here on the left hand side. Just look on elements and type in what you're looking for. There are tons and tons of different clip art choices. Okay, so my peacock feather has a white background and I want to get rid of that obviously. So I'm going to make sure the image is selected. And then we're going to go over to edit image. At the top left kind of and then hit background remover and ta-da <laughs> so I'm just gonna arrange these peacock feathers how I want them along the top and bottom of my flyer so I just copied and pasted and flipped horizontally just to make them different angles different sizes and all of that once I had the bottom like I liked it I selected all of those peacock feathers and control C Control V to copy and paste and just move them as one big group to the top. So I initially tried to create this sign in Silhouette Studio, but I changed my mind. But I'm going to have my screen side by side or I'm going to go back and forth so I can take my codes and everything and my fonts and my wording to Canva. So next I'm going to look for a font that I like for the words scan to pay. I am going to look under text and I'm just going, I tried to type scan to pay, but nothing came up. So I just looked at these examples and I really like the um, glowing text. So that's the one I decided to go with. So if you look over to the left, I chose the, the font that says good vibes and I'm just going to change the wording to what I want it to be. And then here you'll see me playing with my fonts. Um, there's a bunch of different fonts to choose from. The ones with the little crowns are for Canva Pro, but there's tons of free ones as well. After I found a font I liked, um, it's kind of overlapping now, so I was trying to figure out how to ungroup it. Um, in the top right, kind of under the picture, you'll see where it says ungroup. Click on that, and you can move them separately, and then you can group them back together. So I'm going to move these up to the top of my page, and then we're going to group them. And then the little A with the purple underline is where you can change the color of your font. 
So here I am playing with the coloring and the, um, the light options and the shadow options until I got what I like. All right, so I already had all of my codes saved, like my Venmo QR code, my Cash App, and my PayPal code saved. So I'm going to open those up by uploading media in Canva again. I'm going to browse to my codes, and I'm just going to upload them that way. If you see over here on the left-hand side, it's loading as it's uploading. All right, so once I have all three of those QR codes uploaded, I'm going to go ahead and click on each one of them, and that's going to place them on my design. And, of course, you will have to size them down. They're going to be way too big. I made all of mine about an inch and a half to two inches. All right, so next I'm going to, going to add the rest of the fonts or the wording to my um, flyer. So I'm looking for fonts again, like different fonts that match and go together, but two different types. So I'm just scrolling through here to see what I like. I really like the cursive look with the um, like sans look, whatever font that is below. So I'm just typing out my thank you and then I'm typing out the rest of my message underneath. And I'm also going to use a brush stroke because it's kind of getting washed out by the peacock feathers. So I went to elements to find a brush stroke and I changed the transparency on that. And don't forget, you have to click on the actual element in order to see the actual menu for that item. All right, so next I want to start adding all of my social media icons. So I went to elements over here on the left hand side and then I just typed in Facebook in the search bar and I'm going to do the same thing for Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok and Etsy. And as you add your little icons, you'll just have to size them down really small um, until you get them to the size that you want them. So my sign is pretty much done. I'm just playing with the spacing here. And I did overlook my E, that Etsy E up there by thank you. But I did end up moving it in the end before I printed it out. Um, so you'll just play with your design until you're happy with it. And then you're going to save it. And next we're going to print. Before printing, you may want to test out your QR codes using your phone and make sure they direct you to the correct links. Now, after I did that, I went ahead and print printed my document. I have a Canon inkjet printer. Um, nothing special. I got it. I think I got this printer from Walmart or Staples. I don't remember. I'm going to print at a high quality and I'm going to print it on cardstock. All right. So here is my printed document and I got this little photo holder thing from Walmart. Um, it's an eight by 10 little plastic mainstays document holder. Um, thinking back, I should have printed my image at 8 by 10 instead of 8.5 by 11. No big deal, though. I just used my paper trimmer to trim off the excess, and it fit right in there with no issues. So once I have my paper in there, that's it complete. I'm going to show you the final product in a second. But I did want to share with you guys one of my fails. Um, I first attempted to do this on an acrylic board with epoxy and glitter. I do not like the way it turned out, um, so I left it alone for a couple weeks, and I decided to just go with this printing method. Way easier, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's going to be a great addition on my craft table coming up. Don't forget to remove the little plastic wrap around it that kind of takes away the shine. And here is the final product. Like I said, I am more than pleased with it. I love the way it turned out, and I love the simplicity of this one. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, bye.